All right, YouTubers, welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today I thought we would take a look at the premium T-34E. Now information on this particular T-34E with the spaced armor was almost non-existent, but this should apply to the numerous modifications of the T-34 produced at the Zerzinski Tractor Factory and categorized as T-34Es. After Germany's surprise invasion of the Soviet Union on June 22, 1941, Operation Barbarossa, the Wehrmacht's rapid advances forced the evacuation of Soviet tank factories east of the Ural Mountains, an undertaking of immense scale and haste that presented enormous logistical difficulties. While these factories were rapidly being moved, and as to not completely disrupt production of the T-34, the industrial complex surrounding the Zerzinski Tractor Factory, abbreviated STZ, in Stalingrad continued to work double shifts throughout the period of the withdrawal from September 1941 to September 1942 to make up for production loss, and they produced 40% of all T-34s during the period. To increase the survivability of the tanks being produced there, the T-34s from the STZ factory were up-armored by use of Appalette armor plates. These Appalette armor variants of the T-34 were called T-34E, with E standing for with screens in Russian. These tanks were given Appalette armor throughout the entire vehicle, on all sides of the turret, on the front, on the hull sides, some even had side skirts. Some of the Appalette armor was placed in a way as to act as spaced armor against enemy fire, which proved quite effective against the Panzer III's 50mm that could only penetrate the T-34 from the side. However, it was found that this additional armor did not help the T-34 against larger weapons such as the 75 and 88mm cannons. Due to the growing number of German tanks equipped with the 75 and 88mm cannons, such as the upgunned Panzer IV and the Tiger I that could easily destroy the T-34 even with the extra armor application, the armor configuration was not placed into mass production. As the factory became surrounded by heavy fighting in the Battle of Stalingrad in 1942, the situation there grew desperate. Manufacturing innovations were necessitated by material shortages. Stories persisted of unpainted T-34 tanks being driven directly out of the factory to fight on the surrounding battlegrounds. The STZ factory at Stalingrad kept up production until September 1942. Now in War Thunder, the premium T-34E is a rank 2 with a battle rating of 4.0. It has an 859 horsepower engine propelling the 30.6 ton vehicle to a top speed of 34 miles per hour. It comes equipped with the 76 millimeter F-34 cannon. Now I have it assigned to an expert crew with a crew level of 140, which gives me a reload of 7.3 seconds. And as a premium, it has an XP reward of 390% and a silver line reward of 180%. So what do I think of the T-34E here in War Thunder? Well, it's a T-34, so it's good just in general, but the added extra armor, do I think it gives enough benefit that you should run right out and buy this premium vehicle? I don't know. Just like we said in the history, it doesn't protect you really against 75 millimeter uh, cannons. So you're gonna be facing a lot of vehicles at battle rating 4.0 that can take you out pretty easily. Even the other T-34s with their 76 millimeter gun can uh, knock you off the count pretty quick. But it is a good vehicle. And if you enjoy T-34s, eh, you might could use this premium. But anyway, why don't we hop into a battle and see what I was able to do with the T-34E. Here we go.
Okay, it looks like we picked up Cyanide. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm actually starting to enjoy this map now that I've found some hiding spots and stuff like that. So, um, I just want to double check my ammo layout right quick. Just looking. Okay, here we go. Alrighty, one thing you will notice about the T-34E here is uh, the extra armor seems to have um, decreased the maneuverability just a little bit. I mean, it's, still, it's okay, it's a T-34, but it's not as quick as some of the less armored T-34s. And I thought I had selected the other spawn point, but I don't know. I decided I didn't want to go that way. I want to go more toward the middle. So we're just kind of hugging the low ground right here, and then we will change and head up toward the middle when I have something to hide behind. Oh, wasn't quite expecting to see him just yet. Climb this hill, see if I can get a shot on him. Missed him. Oh. <laughs> that was lucky. Lucky, lucky. Okay. I see something red on the mini map, but it's on the other side of that rock. KV-1. Reload, reload. There we go. Alright, we're looking pretty good. Move up just a little bit. Oh, what's that up there? ZIS. That was nice. Usually I don't get those in one shot. Oh, more. Churchill. He's tough. Oh, what's this? There we go. Oh, that was also unexpected. Very nice. Okay, what do we got? I'm just knocking them out. Okay, there's something on the other side here. Just need to see what it is. Got some more enemies coming across. I was gonna think about going around that hill to engage that guy but then I would be in front of like three people so discretion the better part of valor Ooh, I do not want to jump out in front of that oh did he just shoot Pa-yow! 
There you go. Alright. An M5. Let me get that. Oh, he's behind that. Oh, what's that? Was a decent hit, but didn't quite knock him off. There we go. Oh, he's fast. Oh, nice. Horrible wind up there. I hit him. Oh, switch targets. Oh! Oh, you knocked down my gunner. That's a lot of them up there. Throw some arty. Try to use it as a screen. Oh! Rock is in the way. Come on, back up. Get off the rock. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Need to be careful about getting up too far. Oh, can I get him right beside that rock? Well, I hit him. Let's see. Hit him again. One more time. Come on. Uh-oh. I switched targets because I thought the new vehicle might be a, a bigger threat. Alright, we're moving up toward the cap. Oh, but we got a vehicle just the other side here. Somebody else is going to get the cap, so that's fine. Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. Right through the front. Oh, there's somebody over there. Somebody over there. Wonder if I can get a shot on this guy. He's out in the open. Yes. Oh no! Dang it! Put me in crew crew replenish mode. I'm stuck. Dang it, man. Uh-oh. Those guys down there can see me. Oh, and they're shooting me. This is not going to be good. Dang. Panzer 4 F2. Oh, well. We were doing pretty good. 13. Well, I don't have a backup of that, but I do have the T30, uh, T34E STZ. So, let's see. Try to head sort of in the same area, but I don't think this game is going to last much longer.
That ticker is going down pretty quickly. I'm just going to hit Select an air battle. Kind of come down here in the low ground. Yeah, I don't even think I'm going to get in the air before it ends. Nope, oh, there it is. Stick a fork in it. She's done. Alright, let's see what we did. Not too bad. All right. Teamwork, multi-strike, one shot, tank rescuer, avenger, professional, shadow strike streak, heavy metal hero, the best squad, and balancer. It's not too bad. 13 ground units destroyed with one assist. I'll take that. First place in the team, 60,740 silver lions. So, yeah. Did die one time. That's a little disappointing. But yeah. That was actually a pretty good game for me there, so. Yeah. The T-34E. Um, as you can see, um, those 75 millimeters can go right through you, but uh, it performs like a T-34. It's, it's good. It's just a little bit, feels a little bit sluggish. Um, and yeah, you're not going to bounce those 75s, but some of those smaller caliber um, weapons, um, this extra armor may uh, give you a benefit. So yeah, if you've liked this look at the T-34E, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't. Subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. Nerd out.